Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is January 5th, 2019. Happy late New Year's to everybody. So two weeks ago, I did a video on these uh, small hydroponic setup and I've gotten a lot of really good questions. So um, I thought I would do uh, a follow-up answering those questions since um, I don't have anything else going on outside so this is a great opportunity for me to answer a lot of the questions that people are asking. Um, a lot of these questions are really really good and I'm sure there's other that are really interested in the same questions as well so I'll go over these and uh, hopefully that will help you guys and I encourage you guys to try this because this is a very very fun thing to do and if you have children they would be very excited to get involved as well so uh, it's a good learning uh, experiment so uh, here, here's some of the questions uh, the first one was uh, from a friend of mine Matt Garver uh, guys if you don't know Matt check out his channel is Matt Garver on YouTube he does a bunch of uh, cracky hydroponic and he does some crazy uh, huge huge hydroponic outside like in trash cans that are like 50 gallons so uh, check him out and his question is uh, how long does it take for some of these plants in small setups to fruit from seed to the very first fruit so here is uh, the very first fruit right there that the one on top right here and um, this took about, I think it was 105 days. So around three and a half months to get the very first fruit to form. Um, some varieties uh, can be faster, but typically uh, they're within about three and a half months. It's still quicker than outdoor because in outdoor, it could take up to four to five months, maybe even six, depending on your conditions. So um, because we're grown indoor, the temperature is always constant. So you can adjust it uh, to fit the plant's needs. So if the plant grow uh, really well at 75 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever, then you can adjust your indoor to 75 degrees and it'll just shoot up and grow like crazy. So um, three and a half months, uh, is how long it took for this particular plant right here to fruit its very first fruit so let's see if I can show you there it is right here the very first fruit and there are more forming so this flower here it has opened completely so that would be more fruits coming from this plant and then this one as well there's a ton of flowers that see this one's already formed into a fruit so you can actually see you pull this off and there's a fruit right there that formed and I have a few more down here there so there look at the amount of flowers uh, there are on this tiny little plant uh, the plant is actually like about <laughs> maybe three inches uh, at the most so with the small setup you can create very uh, cute plants almost like a bonsai type ornamental purposes uh, or however you want to do um, and if you want to grow them a little bigger then you can do it in your arrow garden it requires a little pruning so it doesn't grow all over the place and that's what I did uh, I have a video showing the pruning process already done and uh, if you want to check that out you should um, uh, look for it in my channel it's a very cool video that will help you uh, keep your plant small so that you can maintain it easily so I switched from the smaller container uh, to a larger one because I've been traveling and uh, th at this size here the plant drink a little faster so if you go out of town for like a week then you would want a container larger than the half size that I've done before in my previous video and I show you guys how to do both and this is the the full size here let's let me show you the uh, the root system so there it is see my liquid uh, level there you should never go past the certain amount that as I mentioned before because the plant need that extra space up here to breathe those are the air roots and these are the water roots and um, this 
uh, size here will feed my plant for a, around a week and then uh, I would once it drink it down to around here you can you can refill a few times uh, and then change it out completely don't just refill and refill and, and keep doing that because you, you will throw the nutrients out of balance and then the plants will struggle and it may create issues and then flowers will drop so I would recommend like f when the plants uh, drink the water down to here and then you can fill it up like two times and then after two times dump the entire thing out and give it fresh new nutrients and when you do the new nutrients give it back to the level uh, as I mentioned before that would not cover the top layer where the roots are breathing and then the plants would be fine so this is called the non-circulating method uh, often people refer to the cracky method so here I have two crossing projects going uh, one for that and one for that so um, it's my ornamental plant that I'm trying to create and uh, th this is a sangria and I'm crossing that with my Linzo pepper which is a very nice tasting variety so I'm going to create a new one that would taste good that would look beautiful like an ornamental plant and that is also the sangria same as this variety but what I'm gonna do is grow that bigger and then on this side I have my Linzo and this plant is going to be bred with that plant right there I, I've already done it with the little one but I'm also gonna do it with the larger one okay so uh, here is some more Linzo here that I started uh, from seed in soil and then I just pluck it out and put him to this setup and these guys are like taking off way faster than the soil plants the soil plants are still like this big so this guy's a, like three times larger here uh, you can see that my plant has little spots on the leaves there when you see this on your plant it's very likely that there is a pH problem in your unit or in your system so there was a problem in in my pH because my meter was not calibrated for a long time so it was two uh, spots under the, um, the the accurate pH so I was feeding the plants uh, at a pH of 4 instead of instead of 5.9 improper pH sort of like uh, prevent the plants from taking up all the all the uh, proper nutrients uh, there's a pH chart like at certain level um, the plants are not able to take certain nutrients up to use but uh, it would not kill the plant but it prolong um, imbalance then it, it may stunt the plant it may cause some other problems but uh, you see that is because of the pH problem so then I calibrated it and adjusted it and now the pH is 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 proper at 5.9 so it should be fine it the new the, the old leaves will be affected and the new leaves will be just fine and you can leave those there and, then, and when the new leaves grow you can just cut these these bad ones off and that should be fine so uh, that's just in case uh, you were wondering what some of these spots on the plants are so there it is guys that is just a quick video um, sort of like talking about this setup and uh, if you are curious about more questions leave them below and if they're great questions I may make another video to uh, feature your question and uh, hopefully that would help many people to start this kind of fun projects inside during the winter time when <laughs> you can't grow anything outside so that's it guys thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe